Section 1. Welcome to the show. Let's talk YouTube engagement. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ellen. And guess what? Today, we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of YouTube. It's true, folks. We're talking about how to make your videos so captivating, so engaging, that people would rather watch them than eat a plate of Porsche's vegan lasagna. Okay, maybe not quite, but you get the idea. We all know the feeling. You click on a video, and 30 seconds in, you're already reaching for the skip ad button. We want to avoid that at all costs. So how do we create content that keeps our audience glued to the screen? Get ready for some Ellen-approved tips on making your YouTube videos the hottest ticket in town. You ready? I know I am. Question. What's the first thing that pops into your head when you think engaging YouTube video? Section 2. Hook, line, and sinker. Grabbing attention from the get-go. Remember that time I scared Taylor Swift on my show? Yeah, that was a good one. But we don't want to scare our viewers away. We want to reel them in. That's why we need a hook. That's the first few seconds of your video that need to be as attention-grabbing as a puppy wearing a tutu. Think about it. What makes you click on a video? A funny clip? An intriguing question? A promise of something amazing? You gotta give your viewers a reason to stick around. Tell them what they'll gain from watching, whether it's learning a new skill, laughing their socks off, or just forgetting about their troubles for a few minutes. Make them feel like they're missing out if they click away. Remember, you've got about five seconds to make a first impression, make it count. Now, let's talk about how to keep that attention once you've got it. Question. So, we've hooked our viewers, but how do we keep them from jumping ship before the good stuff happens? Section 3. Breaking it down. Why sections keep them coming back for more? Imagine watching a movie that's just one long, continuous shot. Sounds kind of boring, right? Our brains like things broken down into bite-sized pieces. That's where sections come in. Just like my show has different segments, your YouTube video should too. Think of each section as a mini chapter with its own intro and conclusion. This keeps things fresh, gives your viewers natural breaks, and lets them know what to expect next. Sections help your audience follow along, especially if your video is a little longer. Plus, it lets you cover different aspects of your topic without overwhelming anyone. It's like a variety show, but on YouTube. Question. I bet you're wondering, Ellen, how do I make these sections even more exciting? Well, hold on to your hats, folks. Section 4. Spice it up. Variety is the spice of life. And YouTube, remember when I had that guy on who could juggle chainsaws while riding a unicycle? Talk about variety. While we might not all be chainsaw juggling extraordinaires, we can add spice to our videos. Don't be afraid to mix things up. Use a combination of talking head segments, that's you, looking fabulous on camera, B-roll footage, text on screen, animations, music, and sound effects. You can even add some fun transitions to keep things visually interesting. It's all about keeping your viewers engaged and entertained. Think about your favorite YouTubers. They don't just sit there and talk for an hour straight. They use different elements to tell their story, share their knowledge, or just make you laugh. And guess what? You can do it too! Question? Okay, but what about visuals? They're important, right? Section 5. Let's get visual. Show. Don't just tell, honey. You know what they say. A picture is worth a thousand words. And on YouTube, visuals are everything. People are drawn to movement, color, and captivating imagery. Think about it. Would you rather watch me talk about puppies or show you a montage of adorable puppies doing adorable puppy things? Yeah, I thought so. Use high quality images and videos that are relevant to your content. If you're teaching a recipe, show each step. If you're reviewing a product, give us a good look at it from all angles. Don't be afraid to get creative with your visuals. They're a powerful tool for keeping those eyeballs glued to the screen. See the difference? It's like night and day. But Ellen, what about the sound? Isn't that important too? Section six, music to their ears. Audio that doesn't make them hit mute. Remember that time Justin Timberlake surprised a fan on the show? The look on her face was priceless. But you know what wasn't so great? That time my microphone cut out in the middle of a joke. Not my finest moment, folks. Sound is just as important as visuals. Nobody wants to listen to a video with muffled audio, background noise, or music that's louder than your voice. Make sure you're using a good microphone and that your audio is clear and crisp. Music can set the mood, add emotion, and make your videos more engaging. 
Just make sure it's not too distracting or overwhelming. And please, for the love of all that is good, avoid copyrighted music. Okay, we've got great visuals and audio, but what about the overall quality of our videos? Section seven, lights, camera, action. You don't need a Hollywood budget. Listen, I've got a team of professionals making me look good on camera, but you don't need a fancy studio or expensive equipment to create high quality YouTube videos. You just need a little know-how and a whole lot of heart. Good lighting is key. Natural light is always best, so try filming near a window. If you're filming at night, invest in some affordable lighting equipment. And don't forget about your background. Keep it clean, uncluttered, and visually appealing. You don't need a fancy camera either. Your smartphone is more than capable of capturing great footage. Just make sure you're holding it steady. Or even better, use a tripod. And filming in landscape mode. And remember, practice makes perfect. The more you film, the better you'll get at it. Now that we've covered the technical stuff, how do we make our videos more interactive? Section 8. Get them talking. Interaction is key, people. You know what I love? When audience members participate in my games and share their stories, it makes the show so much more fun. And the same goes for YouTube. You don't want your viewers to just passively watch your videos. You want them to feel involved. Ask questions in your videos and encourage viewers to leave their answers in the comments. Run polls, do quandas, and even give shoutouts to your most engaged followers. People love to feel heard and appreciated, so make sure you're interacting with your audience and building a community around your channel. See how much fun everyone is having. It's like a big, happy YouTube family. Question, speaking of community, how do we get people to subscribe and become regular viewers? Section 9. You've got this. Building your YouTube community. Building a YouTube community is like hosting a party. You want to create a welcoming atmosphere where people feel comfortable, entertained, and eager to come back for more. It all starts with being yourself. People connect with authenticity, so don't be afraid to let your personality shine through. Engage with your viewers, respond to comments, even the negative ones, and make them feel like they're part of something special. You can even collaborate with other YouTubers in your niche to cross-promote your channels and reach a wider audience. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a successful YouTube channel. Be patient, be consistent, and most importantly, have fun. Question. But how do we wrap it all up? How do we leave our viewers wanting more? Section 10. The grand finale. Ending with a bang, not a whimper. Every great show needs a great ending, and your YouTube videos are no exception. Don't just abruptly stop recording when you're done talking. Give your viewers a clear call to action. Tell them what you want them to do next. Subscribe to your channel, like the video, leave a comment, check out your other videos, or visit your website. You can even end with a teaser for your next video to keep them hooked and coming back for more. A strong ending is like a good after-dinner mint. It leaves a refreshing taste in your viewers' mouths and makes them want to come back for another bite, question. So, are you ready to take your YouTube videos to the next level? Section 11. Now go on, get out there. Your YouTube journey starts now. Well folks, that's all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of YouTube engagement tips. Remember, creating captivating content is all about grabbing your viewers' attention keeping them engaged and leaving them wanting more. So go out there, be yourself, have fun and make some awesome videos. And before you go, I'd love to hear from you. What's your biggest takeaway from today's show? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode.